Now the tangent second theorem and angles in alternate segment students always get confused in this because all those proofs and all those theorem in different words different languages tedious one they don't understand what to do about this I'm not going to enter into any of the complicated things okay in short in very simple way I'm going to explain you what this tangent second theorem is and what do you mean by the angles in alternate segment I am not going to use any of the terminology we are just going to be understand what exactly it is it is very very simple okay suppose this is circle okay you know th this is center O you know that you know that this angle theta and suppose this is major arc M so we know that theta is equal to half of M this we already learn in inscribed angle theorem okay now consider that if there is a tangent at this line okay and suppose this is a chord okay just like your inscribed angle theorem this angle is also equal to this angle why because this angle is also intercepting arc m and this angle is also intercepting arc m so the first angle let us name this as alpha this alpha is equal to half of m is called as a tangent second theorem okay don't worry it is just similar to your inscribed angle theorem if this is a tangent at this point there is some chord is there then whatever major arc is that arc and this angle are 1 is to 2 simple and then the next part the angles in alternate segment nothing difficult in that this alpha is equal to theta is what the angles in alternate segments are simple very simple that means you know that now suppose there are two two other chords are there okay which are intercepting means this angle is also intercepting m and suppose this is these are another two chords those are those chords are also intercepting arc m so you know that since this arc is same angle is same correct now instead of two vertex on the circumference there is only one starting point is on the circumference and one vertex is on the circumference and another arm of that angle is tangent to circle that's all so in this case now your alpha and theta are equal this is what the angles in alternate segment and this alpha is half of this aim is nothing but your tangent second theorem and simply in other words the converse is also true that means if this is angle theta is equal to this angle theta if this is also angle theta of this angle one arm is a chord then the second must be a tangent then this line is tangent is you called as a converse of this tangent uh, alternate uh, this you can call as a converse the reverse of the theorem that's all so only based on this we have to solve exercise 2.4 now in exercise 2.4 we have to deal with all we have to deal with all the theorems we have learned before that is inscribed angle theorem and other things what we have learned in the previous standards now cyclic quadrilateral tangent second theorem and angles in alternate segment so combining all these things we have to learn about the exercise 2.4 so I hope this is very clear don't don't get confused by yourself by names okay just remember this is just like some other angle that's all
that is what the tangent secant theorem is and this is what the alternate angles in alternate segment nothing great about it so let us go for exercise 2.4 directly so that we can understand these theorems clearly okay thank you